Now, because we managed Apple IDs, um, all of our classes are automatically set up in Apple Classroom. But you may have a need to set up a custom class uh, where you want to be able to add your own students, maybe for something like an after-school activity or something like a class that changes on a daily basis or maybe just for some small group activities or something like that. And you can do that. Um, but you have to use an app called Schoolwork. So Apple makes the Apple Classroom app, and then they also make a Schoolwork app, which is kind of like their version of an LMS like Canvas. And so if I open up the Schoolwork app, um, it should show me all of my classes over here on the left-hand side, and I have the ability to add a class. So if I tell it to add a class, here's where I could have um, a class that I would maybe call Small Group, I make sure the whole the location is set to Holman Middle School, um, and then I can go over here to students, and here I can literally just search for a student's name. So if I just typed in a student's name, uh, that student's name then shows up, and I can tap on that student, and this will allow me to add all of the students this way. So I can go through and add them all, no codes, and then when I hit done, um, that class is going to show up in schoolwork. Um, I can also, if I want to, tap these three dots and edit this class if I ever need to go back and make changes or if I wanted to change the color or um, the icon or whatever that goes along with it or if I wanted to just remove that class, I can do that as well. Now, once I've done that, that class now shows up in schoolwork, but it is not gonna show up in Apple Classroom until that next day, most likely. So there's a sync that takes place every night where it'll look at the classes that exist in schoolwork and in PowerSchool, and it will sync those classes over to the Apple Classroom app that next day. So overnight, a sync will happen, and then when you go into your um, Apple Classroom, you'll see both the classes that existed in PowerSchool, but then you will also see any custom classes that were created that from here on out, you can go ahead and manage in the Apple Classroom app.